Documents in the TI Inspire and TI Inspire CAS apps on the iPad are easy to create and modify. Here in the home screen, I'll create a new document by tapping the plus icon in the upper left corner. From the menu, choose which application you'd like to add to your new document. I'll start with a calculator page. This will open a document with one calculator work area and display the TI Inspire keyboard. I'll hide the keyboard to see the full work area by tapping the key in the lower right corner. Notice the page sorter on the left side. Right now, I only have one problem and one page. You can have multiple pages within one problem and multiple problems within one document. I'll add another page to problem one by tapping that plus icon in the upper left corner again and choosing another application. This time, I'll add a graphs page. Now I'll add a new problem by tapping the plus icon and scrolling all the way down to problem. For my new problem, I'll add lists and spreadsheet. Notice now in the page sorter, I'm on page one of problem two. You can also see this in the upper left corner of the work area, just to the left of the wrench icon. 2.1 means problem two, page one. I can easily jump between pages by tapping the page thumbnail in the page sorter on the left. I'll jump back to page one of problem one by tapping that calculator thumbnail. To reorder pages, touch and hold the page thumbnail in the page sorter until it flashes, and then drag it into the new position. I've just reordered problem one so that the calculator is now page two, and the graph is page one. I'll tap the graphs thumbnail to jump to that page. Now I'll tap the graph entry line just above the graph to open the keyboard and enter x squared plus 2 and then press enter to graph the function. Now I'll double tap the function in the graph to open the entry line again and change that plus 2 to a plus 5 and press enter. You can quickly undo an action by pressing the undo redo arrows icon on the top of the screen. Once you've undone something, you can touch and hold that icon to open a small menu, allowing you to select whether you'd like to continue to undo or redo your actions. When you're done with your document, tap the home icon in the upper left corner. You'll be given a chance to discard all changes to your document or to save them. I'll choose Keep My Changes to Save Everything and return to the home screen. If you created a new document, you'll be given a chance to rename it from the default. I'll rename the file and press Return to see my new document thumbnail.